Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Touch LX smartwatch for Android phones and also iOS. Uh, it comes with uh, some really, really interesting features for a very attractive price. So it has a very large 1.75 inch HD screen and it has a waterproof rating of 3 atmospheres which means 30 meters which is much more than most of the other smartwatches and it comes with a lot of tracking features other information notification those things comes also in a very nice beautiful box obviously it's available in three different colors the model type is tg w006 so let's take it out of the box and see what we get here's the watch but of course we get also the charging cable and a nice instructions manual it's available in five different languages and it's very detailed so i'm not going to show you everything but i'm going to connect it wear it for some time and then showing you the most interesting features of course we have to remove the protection you can see how large this is has two nice buttons and the sensors in the back and then we have this magnetic charger which aligns very fast you can charge it everywhere where we have the usb standard usb a plug okay let's see what happens when we plug it in it starts automatically comes already with a nice charge so here's the app in the android play store we are going to install it right from here we have a lot of different op options to register with full email or with Facebook access or uh, in visitor mode. I really love this. But when we want to use full function, I highly recommend to register with your email. So after entering a few personal settings, we can connect the device. Let's say this is the Harley. So let's see. Maybe we have to remove it from the charging. We pick English here. Yeah, it has found it already. We click on that. Okay, accept binding. Hasn't been too difficult. So we are ready to go here. Of course, we have to make sure that the app is always running in the background to give all notification and everything. So I'm back here after testing this watch for about 24 hours and you can see the battery is still at a whopping 88% so only about 10% used. I mean I've been using it a lot because I was testing it. Usually I would expect that we lose about 10% per day only so it can easily last for 10 days. This is one of the big advantages of such watches compared to Wear OS or Android Wear watches. This is really amazing. I mean, of course, you cannot replace a full Wear OS watch with a microphone speaker and all this on display and uh, apps to download and wireless charge, but it's also a total different price range and also has quite some advantages compared to a Wear OS watch because it comes already with most of it, everything installed and you don't have to deal with complicated download and installations and these things. And it has much better automatic night settings and way better alarm settings and much better uh, battery runtime than all the Wear OS watches. You shouldn't forget about that. So if you want something really good, but not complicated, this could be the thing for you. But let's dig in into all the details. Here we have the one of the watch faces, but we have already a couple of them installed and you can even install uh, many more of them. Some of them are really nice, colorful, some more simple, some with a lot of information. I love especially this one, which gives me a lot of information, uh, day, date, time, battery, connection. So how this watch works, actually, we have the status menu where we have a lot. We can activate also a lot of things already here. Uh, wrist, raise, automatic turn on of the screen, do not disturb. We have this flashlight for the night and we have the brightness setting. I've been usually working with 40% and works perfectly inside when we have to go outside. Uh, I increased it to 100%. It's so bright. That's absolutely no problem to see it even in the brightest sunlight. Very nice. But of course, there is no automatic brightness setting because it doesn't have a sensor. 
Then here we have the alarms. We can activate, deactivate. We can add more alarms here. Really, really nice implementation. This is something which is really rare to find in such a watch. Then we have all the settings here directly in the status menu. Really nice. And the settings are really, really comprehensive. We have a lot of screen settings. We have this special night mode which you can activate. Uh, do not disturb mode all day or timed. Then you rise to wake, you can activate it and especially deactivate it during the night. This is absolutely awesome. Then change the vibration intensity, adjust the brightness, uh, other system settings, power off, rip start, reset. And down here we have the information like the notifications from WhatsApp or other things, SMS or call information. And left or right we have the different menus which you can quickly access. So let's go to the right side. Here we have the activity record for the day, the heart rate tracking for the day. Then here we have the music. Let's say if you want to control uh, YouTube or uh, whatever you want to play, like music or so, directly from here. Then we have the sleep tracking, also a lot of information directly already here on the watch. And then we have three-day weather information. By the way, you can switch between the uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit in the app. But of course, that's not already it. We have two buttons here on the right side. With this upper button, we have access to all the apps like the workout, different kind of workout, which you can start. Then we have the workout records, the heart rate SpO2 measurement. The SpO2, that's just a one-time measurement you can do when you think you need it, but it's not monitored 24-7. Again, the activity record, sleep tracking, breathe training, music, messaging, weather, stopwatch, timer, timer. That's also one thing which is really nice because we have these predefined times, but we can also add something up to 24 hours individually. And the really nice thing is when we start this thing here, it starts automatically. We can go back even to the main menu, do other stuff, and the timer will then run in the background and then alert you so you can see we can go back to the timer and it was running in the background that's really awesome that's also something which is really rare and the alarms again you can add or delete or activate or deactivate even recurring alarms that's also something which is really hard to find in such a watch flashlight again find phone camera and again the settings which we had already so very comprehensive a lot of functions here already or directly on the watch and I mean, in general, we can say it's very nice, very beautiful uh, watch. It's large, very large screen. The screen is easily to see from all the angles. It has a very bright, very clear screen. It, it comes with a nice watch band, a very comfortable one. It's very lightweight, very comfortable, easy to wear. I've been wearing this the whole night and it didn't bother me at all. And one thing here with the menus, which I also like, is when we go into timeout, let's say you are in a menu and you're still thinking about what you're doing and it goes into timeout and you have to push here or to activate the screen again, it will go into the same menu and not go into the main menu. That's really important. And regarding the workouts, you can see we have a lot. The only thing which I'm missing here a little bit is maybe the swimming. But apart from that, it has so many things and I've tried it and it looks really good. It has been measuring almost everything. So many things which it is recording. And of course, you have the second button here down here, which always goes directly into the workout and fitness recording. So I think I've been covering most of it regarding the watch itself. And then we have the app, also very comprehensive information. Uh, it would take too much time to show you everything but basically the app has four tabs we have the status we have the workout we have the device and we have the own information when we pull down here it will sync to the watch and then you have all the information about your steps what you have done during the day week or months and here we have the workout the, like the exercise recording which you activate directly here on the watch then the very detailed sleep tracking with everything the 24-7 heart rate uh, monitoring if you have activated this also with the day, week and months and yearly overview 
and the SpO2 again this is just like a spot measurement this is not 24 7 calories consumption day week months these things then we can start and stop uh, workouts directly here from the app itself and then we have a lot of information here on the device with different watch faces we can download a lot of different watch faces almost endless really a lot of them then we can get notification about incoming calls music control message notification uh, we can activate or deactivate a lot of the apps but it's limited to these apps there are no more apps than the ones which are listed here in this overview where you can get notification from then what reminder activity reminder alarms same thing there will be sync between the watch and this thing here also very convenient to add them if you want here but if you have turned off your smartphone already and you want to go to sleep and you realize that something's wrong with your alarms and you can change that directly on your watch you don't have to turn on your smartphone again that's really convenient heart rate monitoring with some advanced features you can set how many times Times it will be tracked starts from five minutes goes up to 30 minutes maximum to save a little bit of battery remote control photography we already had this quick replies that's something really unique if you get a call and, and you don't have the time to answer immediately you can set up five different answers and instead of rejecting or picking up the phone call you can give just a very quick answer through these predefined answers which you can even change that's really important and we have the weather forecast some women's health information of course it doesn't have a temperature but it still provides a lot of information also again here the tilt to wake setting where you can exclude the night and then we can do even an upgrade that's really nice so we can always upgrade to the latest firmware version if there an update by the way i've done this already at the beginning and worked really well with the upgrade so i can highly recommend and also there's a lot of settings here i highly recommend to go into your personal settings something you can't do here is to connect it to third party apps at least i haven't found this i think you can't connect this to like google fit or so and then sync with that but apart from that there are already a lot of things which you can set here in the setting also privacy settings where you can activate cloud storage settings or deactivate really important and here again the units metric or Fahrenheit and the location setting and yeah it's very very comprehensive a lot of information there's almost everything here already built in so this is definitely one of the most advanced watches at this price point and it's a, a beautiful one a large one has long battery run time there's almost nothing missing everything works perfect i haven't found any errors or so so i can give you full recommendation and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time